It's time for evolution. What's going on, people? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the leader B4 paper. So this is the leader B4 paper. So if, if I zoom in right here, you probably can't see it, but this says B4. You know, so this is the leader B4 paper. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this, and this was this can also apply to all the other the leader B4 brands as well. So yeah, this can apply to any of them. And so right here this is the the leader b4 paper and so one thing you want to look out for when you're looking to understand the leader paper is the outside edges are is the metric system right so this is usually highlighted in like very light blue sometimes like depending on some scanners you, you may, it may not be able to pick up so right now since i'm up uh, just recording it I decide to use my highlights just so that you guys can see what I'm pointing at or what I'm doing. So right here, where, where I have like the markers right here, which are green, this is usually where your, your number, your, the metric system is. And you use this metric system for to measure the distances of the panels, to calculate certain, certain, certain like angles of the panels but mainly mainly for distance you know just so that you know you understand distance for when you're ever paneling the the, the second rectang rectangle is usually where your bleeds your bleeds are done right and so you usually use your bleeds rather it's rather your rather the page is going left or right so if the page is going right if, if you're drawing a right page Th then you bleed to the right if you're drawing a left page you bleed to the left now I'm going to go into detail uh, later on in this video okay and so this the smaller box right here is where most of your artwork is going to be at okay most of your artwork is going to be in this box here okay this rectangle right here and at the same time this is where you keep your text okay your text does not leave this box your text does not go to the bleeding area okay your text does not go to the metric area your text goes inside here text should never get out the only thing that gets out should be if you're bleeding if your if your artwork is expanding or, or it's bleeding outwards and when it's bleeding is usually due to rather what if it, like if a character is saying something serious that's important to the plot or maybe it's an action scene these are usually when people bleed out their pages and I'm going to go into detail later on in this video and so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to panel your pages from left to right so left to right as in as if you're reading a book or you're reading a western comic so you know this this would be considered a cover and then after you turn the page this would be left the left page and this would be the right page you turn the page again and then this is the left page and this is the right page you turn the page again, left page, right page, turn the page again, left page, you know, etc. etc. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and make sure that you never um do bleeds inside the gutter. Okay? Where where the book binds or where the book where two pages like attach. So I'm gonna show you guys an example. Of that this is the, the Naruto manga and so when two pages um, are held together and and are and attach uh, and attach these two pages uh, this is where you don't want to do your bleeds so I'm gonna get into bleeds later on but uh, this, is, this is where you don't want to do your your bleeds you want to do your bleeds right here to, to the left um, yeah, so if you're drawing your if you're drawing a left page You want to do your bleeds to the left if you're drawing a right page You want to do your bleeds to the right and most of your artwork is going to be in the center Okay, and the bleeds are going to be right here Okay, but most of your artwork is going to be in the center You always also want to keep your text in the center as well You don't want to keep your text where the bleed area is Okay, so I'm going to show you guys an example of that. So this is a page from my comic, Father Nature. 
so what I have right here is so this is left page so this is the, the left page so this would be if it was starting from here so this is left page so right here you see me I have the bleed coming over here okay the bleed is stopping at this at this portion of the page okay and then I have like these other panels who that aren't bleeding much because this is an introduction scene so I'm like slowly transitioning into something revealing you know just slowly transitioning into it since it's an introduction scene okay so so I match so based on the mood of the scene what's going on I'm, I tend to match everything I tend to match the panels the the, the chaotic the chaoticness of the panels it, it all correlates together you know so this is another scene where there's there's not as much bleeding going on let me uh, adjust it a little bit I don't think the camera is picking it up picking it up yeah so this is another scene right here so there's a little there's a little bit of bleeding going on here this bleed you know drawings that, that are taking place at the edge and you're, and you're seeing that how I want to maintain my text within the uh, within this border right here within this the small box this is where my text is gonna go okay this is where my text is gonna go I'm maintaining my text within that small box I'm not making it I'm not making the text go outside this this border right here okay this the second rectangular border I'm not making my text go outside there so again this is the left page and since this is the left page I'm making the bleed to the left I'm not making it be bleed at the center where the gutter is where the page where two pages attached to each other I'm not doing that I'm making a bleed at the, at the uh, at the since it's the left page you bleed at the left it depends on your scene it depends what you what you what you're going for etc bleeding is on is not necessary you know so so yeah this and then a page where I do the most bleed is right here this is a page at the right uh, I'm, I may I mainly do all of my panels are usually bleeding if the panel is chaotic or there's some kind of action scene so right now the kid is getting attacked by a bear right here okay the character is getting attacked by a bear if you can see so there's this action scene going on and as you can see I'm the the everything is bleeding at the edge okay Every, everything in this uh, panel right here is bleeding at the edge because of the action scene. I mean, not all action scenes need to be be bleeding, but most of them do have. Whenever there's an action scene, there's usually bleeding going on. The scene is usually chaotic. You know, it depends. It depends on what you're going for. You know, it depends on what you, what what, what kind of style you're going for, what look you're going for. You know but this is just an example of me bleeding the entire page and again this is the right okay so this is coming from the right okay this is like if so if this was the left page this would be the right page and I'm bleeding to the right okay everything is bleeding to the right I'm not bleeding at the gutter okay not bleeding at the gutter And so to give you guys an example of Naruto, so again, this is the gutter. Although this is Japan, this is like language, this is mainly for Japan readers, for a uh, an Eastern audience, so it's read from right to left. Uh, you can still see the bleeding going on here. All right, you never, never bleed near the center. You always bleed. If it's, if it's a, again, a right page, you bleed there. If it's a left page, you bleed to the left right you bleed to the to the right okay so in this panel right here there's not there's not much bleeding here there isn't a, a, no bleeding at all no bleeding at all until we get to the 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 part where each character has something to say right here so this is where 
the bleeding starts to starts to take place. Now this this author may be using a different type of a manga manga paper or a different type of a uh, comic paper, deleted paper or something. But the the rule still applies towards various different uh, the leader type paper, you know. And and again, you know, bleeding right here, bleeding to the left. And if you, and if you really look closely, like at the center, you'll 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 definitely see there's no bleeding at the gutter. There's no bleeding here. And so to conclude. This is where you, this is the metric system where you use to measure your panels at the edge. Um, the second rectangle is where you bleed depending on rather the page is going to the left or the right. This is where you usually do your bleeding. And right here, this is where you, most of your drawings take place. But at the same time, you want to keep your text within this this rank rectangular this rectangular re rectangle in the middle the only one that we didn't go over as much is the the edges with, with the metric metric system however it's pretty self-explanatory if you want me to do an, a, a, another video explaining this you know all right just you know leave leave so in the comments down below so if you have any questions feel free to leave so down in the comments down below and if like the video as well so that this video gets shown to more people and click subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever i post a new video on the ogano art family channel uh, and also feel free to check out the discord so that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace out